Hello, welcome to Successful Trading. In this episode, in this episode, I'm so excited. We are going to be talking about best dividend growth stock in Canada. So I'm wearing my red shirt, folks, yeah? And it's well overdue because I have so many, so many readers from the blog Successful Trading from Ontario, British Columbia, Alberta, Quebec, Manitoba, New Brunswick. Uh, my friend, Prince Edward Online. I am all over those, but my favorite, my favorite, and you can ask me in the in in the questions, uh, in the comment section, why my favorite province in Canada is Newfoundland and Labrador. So, but today, today, I have an excitement on here. I finally get to write this article on the blog, and I'm bringing the video on here in support of that. So, the top ten best dividend stocks are from Canada. So, I mean there are opportunities in the market we are we have a global market so if you are looking to uh, definitely diversify your portfolio geographically canada it's a good place to start so uh we have known that for a long time so my apologies that it, take, it took me so long to write to finally uh, write this article so without any further ado you know how we we, we we do it on here so this is the article that that we publish so and I'm excited about this one because, I mean, I did something that I've never done before in here. So maybe let, let me just calm down through, through my excitement. So not only did we bring you the list of the stock on there with the usual whatever, I'm providing on here because, yeah, oh, yeah, not, not this map. It's not about the map. Uh, but I'm providing that they're ready for it, ready for it, ready for it. Like, I have to start with that. I have to start with that. The ability to have the charts for each one of these uh, top 10 uh, best dividend growth stock for, 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 from Canada. So that, that's, that's really the, the, the path that's for me. I'm, I'm excited on there. So you can do comparison if you so like. Yeah. Here of over different uh, time frames. So on the monthly on here. So for it's on the monthly on any one of them. And you can obviously it's interactive map folks and interactive charting that we have now on successfultrading.com. So I'm a very excited for that. And if I want to do a comparison, well, there's a button here to compare. I say, hey, compare that to SPY, if for instance, you would like, and then it does that for you right away. Isn't, isn't this beautiful? I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm just a geek. But in any case, how did we get to, 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 to do this research? Uh, the support of Finviz. In Finviz, we are able to go in there and specifically do the research. Finviz is a great research for uh, any type of stock and particularly for dividend stock. So that's where we're able to do two, two things ma mainly to isolate all of the dividend paying stock, all of the Canadian dividend paying stock, obviously, and then pick the best one, pick the best one based on the yearly dividend yield. All of these ones that are in, in this top 10, I, I believe the average is uh, over 5%. That's not bad. But what I like most about it is what our research showed on here. In comparing the basket of Canadian, the best uh, Canadian uh, dividend growth stock, they actually outperform SPY. That's amazing. So, you know, holding a stock, you buy a stock, you're holding it, uh, you get to be paid. Yeah, that's what a dividend is. So it's free money. But on top of that, some of this stock, actually, they have create growth potential. Some of them are very, very cheap. So the list on here, we ranked it one through 10. And really, let, let, let's go through through this very quickly. So Enbridge Inc. is our number one. Yeah, come on, come like some people on here for us. We went in there one through 10. We didn't, we didn't want to be holding you to the last part. Yeah, stay to the last part because we have another surprise for you. Uh, hopefully something that you will like. So the current dividend for ENQ, that's uh, the Enbridge uh, ticker on here. Oh yeah. The other question on here that, that I, I failed to mention at the beginning, uh, depending on where you are, because I've had this question before, these stocks, these Canadian uh, with uh, high growth dividend stock, they are listed in both the US and in Canada. So meaning if you want to buy these at the, the, tourist, the Toronto Stock Exchange, definitely that's something that you can do. If you don't want to you buy them uh, on the New York Stock Exchange, you, you, you can buy that. Obviously, the price in uh, the dollar, it matches. Trust me, yeah, because sometimes we will want to interpret or not support this thing. Can you take advantage of the small different in price? Not, not that much, really. But in any case, you have that uh, opportunity to do that on here. So, so here is uh, the first one for us. Uh, this one is about with a 6.1, 6.6% dividend actually for ENQ. ENQ is Enbridge Inc. 
This one operates in uh, energy infrastructure. It's an, an energy infrastructure company. So uh, what we like about it, yeah. So I like this one on here. And I'm going to make sure that I keep updating this, maybe on a quarterly basis, depending on the response that I, that I get from uh, you, the viewers, and uh, the readers on the blog successfultrading.com. So uh, increasing self-growth. This is, this is a company that has been very, very solid. So definitely... Uh, the pandemic year may, made the, the, the sell number come a little bit, but uh, uh, the, the, the future outlook is definitely great. And with this type of dividend, my friend, it will, will be hard pressed not to invest in a stock like this one. So that's the number one on there. Down further, the second one on the list. Oops, I'm up. On, and here in the in the chart, that's uh, the, the API that I, I'm using on here. I created the watch list already for you. So that, that, that's there already. So the second one, it's a PBA. PBA is a PEM 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 Bina Pipeline Corporation, yeah, and the dividend on this one is six point one percent. There, the stock itself is only thirty dollars. That's what I like. I think if let me check on here, none of this stock, none of this stock that we have in the list costs more than the. I think the highest one that we have, uh, just recently. Uh, went uh, above a hundred dollars, but all of the other one, I think, yeah, nine out of the ten, they will be costing you less than thirty dollars, and so with some very cheap ones. So that's not bad at all. So the take the second one here, PBA, is six point one percent in the in this current uh, dividend yield. The third one, BCE. This is a no timer. This company was around before me, definitely. Uh, founded in the eighteen hundred eighteen eighty six, I believe. Yeah, this is the old bell. Uh, comp company right so specializing in wireless wireline on the internet that's uh, an area that's hey uh, yeah 1880 more precisely and headquarters in in, in verdun uh the 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 current yield is 5.7 percent yeah so very solid company the telecom industry with uh, the the all of the innovation to come with 5g definitely something great to own 61 dollars it's not that expensive really for a five point almost six percent dividend on, on there so the next one tc corporation what's the current dividend on this one 5.5 the price of 63 dollars then we were talking okay the financial the other thing that's the article goes into detail uh, it shows us the distribution per sector and per industry so we have a lot of diversity on here i think in this list that's what we have in the top 10 i believe Overall, on the sectors distribution, I think you have four energy company, you have uh, three financial, you have a couple of utility, and uh, a couple in the telecommunication uh, arena. So that's that's not bad uh, at all, if you ask me. So BNS on here, the Bank of Nova Scotia. Uh, this one provide again is is charts. See how interactive it is. I I'm almost forgetting about that as I'm scrolling, changing the ability to change the timeline on there, and this will be updating automatically. You won't have to do anything. If you're reading this article today, tomorrow, in a year or so, the price will be updating on there naturally. So uh, the dividend is just shy of 5% for a bank of Nova Scotia. Uh, the next one is Manula Financial, MFC. That is, and this one, MFC, what, what's, what's the dividend on there? 4.65% uh, based on the current domain. Then we have... Uh, AQN, Alloquin Power and Utility. So this, as his name indicates, this is a utility uh, company on here. Very cheap, folks. Yeah, where's, where's the chart? I, I like this chart. Yeah, you see this? Uh, less than 20 bucks. And we are getting, in terms of dividend, 4.51%. Not too shabby, if you ask me. So that that's 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 pretty good. Uh, yeah, so we definitely like the, the, the $16. So imagine this uh, company continuing to grow. Uh, in the 20 bucks, so you are having the growth, yeah. So it's not just the dividend that you're getting. So this is the best of both worlds, and that's really what we like. The, the this top 10. So we continue in uh, with uh, Telos Corporation. The dividend uh, for this one, okay, again with me moving this 4.5 percent. Yeah, you're getting a dollar for a year to hold a stock uh, that less than uh, 22 bucks or, or thereabout. That's not too bad at all. Yeah, uh, CNQ Canadian Natural Resource Limited. It's another interesting uh, high-paying dividend uh, stock from Canada uh, on here. That's uh, we, we are doing uh, headquarters in um, in Calgary. Uh, the current yield is four point, just shy of four point five percent. 
And last but not least on the list, CM, Canadian Imperial Bank. This one pays a dividend of about 4.1%. Uh, so, uh, and recently, uh, it's the one, the sole one that's above 100. But let, let, let's not, not, not fool you because a stock that has been actually just consolidating, consolidating, and finally is breaking out here in 2021. I think more upside is to be expected on here for a stock that pays four, over 4.2%, of almost 4.2% in terms of its dividend stock on here so this is was our top 10 of uh, best canadian dividend dividend stocks so the the, the part that I, for me I, i'm excited is as i mentioned again the ability to have the chart updated over time automatically but now if the, some may have other question between now and when we do the opt -out update hey we provide the ability for you to download this top 10 best canadian dividend stock we hope that you enjoy please leave your question in the comment section. If you're a brand new investor, we are going to post a next video with other tools, uh, with other tools or platform or where you, that you can use to identify uh, dividend opportunity, such as the one that we presented here. Until then, have a great afternoon, have a great evening, wherever you're watching from. We talk to you on the next episode. Bye-bye.